Hello everyone, welcome to this new and exciting video on Table Visual in Power BI. As you can see in front of you, the Table Visual is displayed, and it looks pretty good, right? If you examine it closely, it shows different products, suggested prices, average sales prices, and the percentage difference between these two prices. With this visual, we can easily identify which differences are greater than zero and which are less than zero, just by looking at the table. To create such a visual, we need to apply conditional formatting. Now, let's go through the steps to create this kind of visual. To create the table visual, we need to select the table option from the Build Visual section. So I'll just select it. The first column will be Product. I'll select the product name, and different product names will appear in the first column. Next, we have the suggested price, which will be the second column. It's essentially the sales price, so I'll check that as well. We can rename it later. The third column is the average sales price for this. I'll select average revenue from the options. This helps us visually represent and enhance the data. Lastly, we have the difference column, where I've calculated the difference using a measure. This is the simplest form of the visual, but now, enhancing the data is key. Let's format the visual now. We'll go to Format Visual and set the style to minimal the grid lines are already drawn, but we'll change their color to something darker. These are the horizontal grid lines. If you prefer vertical grid lines, you can add them, but they might not look as good. We'll only keep the horizontal lines and increase their width to about 1 or 1.5 points. You can also add borders top, bottom, left, and right, but it's not necessary. You can customize the color of these borders as well. Next, we'll move to the Values section. You can make the values bold and change the text color if desired. For the alternate background, we'll choose a theme. Now for the column headers, we'll make them bold and align them to the center. You can set a background color for the headers, but I'll leave it as is for now. We'll also enable the title option, naming it suggested VS. Average sales price the title is visible, and we can adjust its size, font, and make it italic if needed. If you want to add a subtitle, you can enable that option too. Moving on to effects, if you want a background color for the table, you can select it, but I'll leave it white. This effect is for the title only. Next, if you want to increase the space between rows, you can adjust the padding. You can also position the content as needed. Advanced options like shadows are available too, but I'll disable them for now. Now let's set an alternate background color for the rose. We'll choose a lighter color to make it look better. See, this already looks much better compared to the initial version without formatting. Now, let's make the negative values appear in red and the positive values in green. To do that, we'll select the difference column and apply conditional formatting. For the text color, we'll set a rule. If the value is greater than zero, it should appear in green and if it's less than zero, it should appear in red. Once we apply the rule, all negative values will show in red and positive values in green. We don't want the totals, so I'll go back to values and remove the totals.
Lastly, we'll add icons. Again, based on the difference column, we'll apply conditional formatting for icons. If the value is positive, the icon will be green, and if it's negative, the icon will be red. We'll align the icons to the right of the text for a cleaner look. You can customize the icon style if you wish. Now, if you observe, the text is centered and the icons are aligned to the right. There's a noticeable difference between the initial table and the current version. If you want to sort the table, you can do so by arranging the values in ascending or descending order. I'll sort it by sales price in ascending order so the lowest appears at the top and the highest at the bottom. This table now looks great, and we can use it in our reports. I've used a similar table in my dashboard, and as you can see it looks really good. You can apply the same type of conditional formatting in your Power Buy reports to enhance the data. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.